Hey guys, it is Shipwreck Samantha here, and today I'm doing a speed paint, or showing a speed paint, of me redrawing my logo. This is something, this is, uh, what am I saying? What am I trying to say? This is my logo that has been evolving a lot over this past year. This is the third time I've redone, or the second time I've redone it, the third model. I like to redo it every once in a while to kind of track my progress in my artwork and see how I'm doing and plus I see the flaws in the old ones and I like to replace them. So I guess in this video I'm just going to kind of talk about this new style I've been working with. Also you can see I've been, I'm using a lot of photo reference and I even took a picture of myself holding my bird rose because I could not figure out how in the world to get my hand to make that position. So yes, I use photo reference. That is okay. It is very helpful. Um, so, I'm also going to give credit where credit is due. I use a shading tutorial by an artist. I cannot pronounce the account name, but I'll like, add it in here somewhere. You can kind of see the picture will appear and go away every once in a while. It was extremely helpful for shading because I never really liked the way I've shaded things. So, I am very appreciative of that tutorial. It is something I have really base the shading off of for this. So I'm going to go on to this style. I've really, my style has changed a lot over this past year. I keep on trying new and different styles over and over again and I've just been struggling to find one I can really stick with. Because as an artist, especially in the movie industry, you're expected to be very versatile in the styles that you can do and be able to change your style easily. So I have been very versatile in the styles I use, including pencil and really, I can't really describe the styles, but more realism, more non-realism. It's been a very wide, wide, wide variety. And I've just really started to want to focus on a specific style so that I can really pinpoint what I want to work on selling my artwork wise because I kind of put that at a halt quite a while ago selling my artwork and I wanted to figure out a style that I was really happy with so I could get back into selling my artwork as prints because I've never really done digital prints before but that's something I want to start working on. I'm really excited about this new this new style, so far I like it, and I said that with past styles too, so I don't know yet if this is something I'm going to stick with. I am currently doing research on prints in general um, to see pricing and how I can get that set up. It may be a while before I have all that ready, but I'm still really excited that I'm working towards that. Um, well, the video has already ended, and I guess I'm going to fill something else in here while I'm still rambling on. <laughs> I guess that's really all I have to say right now. I, I'm really glad the direction my style is going and how it's progressing and changing. This is definitely a style I'm really enjoying. I guess it's a more cartoon style, but with still having accurate anatomy. That's also another thing I'm proud of, is how my anatomy has improved. All in all, that's pretty much it for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe if you want to see more art-related videos, rants, vlogs, really anything to that nature. I like to share a lot about artwork and a lot of my interests, things like that. Sometimes even my travels, if I'm traveling currently. And I guess that's all I have to say right now. So, once again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next Friday.